Raiders, Doom 143, and I have an unexpected haul. <laughs> Um, I didn't really have that many books, so I figured, you know, I didn't have to make a haul. And uh, I went to this uh, book off store here in Honolulu, Hawaii, where most of the comics are either $1 or $2. And uh, one was actually a tip off from um, my boy, Spidey Fan. If you are not sub to Spidey Fan, I will leave a link to Spidey Fan, and you can sub up Spidey Fan because Spidey Fan is awesome. Um,. So yeah, I actually got some books and um, so you know what, it started stacking up, especially when they only cost one or two dollars, they stack up pretty quickly. So I figured, you know what, I'll get this haul out of the way, kind of sort of out of the way and um, yeah, well let's just get right into it. Um, Alright, so Wolverine Origins, this is number 10, this is the variant. This is the first appearance of Dakin, which is uh, Wolverine's son. Um, my little my little thing I don't know I figure you know what they got Wolverine X23 is now making her big appearance so I figure you know maybe somewhere down the road they like my boy Master X was saying you know th that uh, X23 stories got a lot of room for a lot of things they can do a lot of things with her um, the comic book community in general is um, you know really taking to x23 like they really like her as a character um and you know so they're you know it, it's really they can kind of do whatever they want with it and um so this is just my little thing i figure you know what just pick up dakin uh wolverine's son and just try to see uh what they'll do possibly in the future with him so yeah i mean he's already been in some stuff but long term long term all right, uh, picked up this one. This is background number seven. This is the uh, first full appearance of uh, Penguin Sun. Um, so I just thought I picked it up. Again, this is really not a variant. Just, I bought a bunch of backgrounds number six for future spec reasons. You know, you never know. Well, not a bunch, I bought like three of them. And uh, so I figured, you know what? I might as well own one number seven. Just for the hell of it. You never know what they're gonna do with it, so. I'll just keep it on the side for now. Um, again, one of those long-term specs. I think, um, I want to say Alex the Comic Hoarder actually touched a little bit about it in our last podcast, which we had. Oh, by the way, thank you uh, for all the people that did come by and check it out. Um, we had a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, I think we got one set up already for next month. Um, I know I'm good to go. I know my boys Freddy's 562 is good. I know Alex the Comic Hoarder is good to go. We just gotta see if uh, Seeking Near Mints and uh, Master X is good. And if we're all good, we're probably gonna hit one up next month as well. Uh, talk about variants, talk about spec picks, talk about the market in general. You know, just kind of keep it a little different. Um, I love those. Uh, I love those. Uh, those groups that talk about Wednesday stuff and stuff that comes out it's very educational it's awesome great shows and um, you know those guys they always have great you know great information and they connect but we just wanted to do something a little bit different you know more on the variants and speculations talk about things that um, you know especially if you like to flip your books um, this is one of those groups that you know if you like to flip your books we'll definitely be talking about that kind of stuff as well Anyway, back to the haul. Um, so yeah. Okay, so the past two books that I showed you didn't come from Book Off, but the rest of it, the majority of it came from Book Off. All right, so I'm at this, uh, for, for those people that don't know what Book Off is, it's kind of like a uh, used bookstore, used game store, used, just a lot of used entertainment stuff. So they always carry comics um, and the last time I went, they didn't really have anything. But when I went in today just to look, I noticed I saw five boxes on the ground. I never seen these five boxes before. So I definitely went to check them out. And one of the things I found was um, one of the earliest uh, J. Scott Campbell's uh, work on uh, Spider-Man. I was very excited to find it. Um, I, I could be wrong, so don't quote me on this, but I think this is actually his first work. Um, so it's Spider-Man 471 or Spider-Man 30. So it's actually one of his first works, if not the first work that he's done for uh, Spider-Man. 
So I was pretty stoked to find that. I was like, oh, because I know people are always trying to sell this at the comic book shops for like 10 to 15 bucks, right? Um, you can find them on eBay. They'll probably sell for like eight, 10 bucks. But um, yeah, so I found these for $2. So I found 471. I'm like, wow, that's cool. Then I keep looking through the boxes and then I find 472, which is super awesome, right? So then I found two of them. I'm like, man, pretty good. I'm really happy. Then I find 473, which won't fit, so that's fine. So I find 473. So I'm like, okay, cool. It's really awesome finding all these J. Scott Campbell Spider-Mans. Uh, super stoked to have found all of these. Uh, couldn't be, you know, couldn't be any happier. Then I find 474. <laughs> so now I'm like, all right, well, I wonder if they have the complete set. I keep looking. They got 475. Which is a beautiful cover by the way super sick this is probably my favorite one out of all of them this is definitely definitely my favorite one and i actually even found 476 so this set itself um from 471 to 476 the last time a complete set sold was like 30 bucks so six times two so i uh, got it for eight um 12 bucks so Definitely super stoked to have uh, gotten that. So yeah, super, super stoked. Anyway, of course, feeling good. Kept digging through the long boxes from Batman 43. Uh, first appearance of Mr. Bloom. Kind of a corny thing, but you know what? It's actually a really beautiful cover. I actually like it. It's a gorgeous cover. I love the colors, uh, the pastel colors that run through this whole thing. It's really, really nice. So yeah, found this one. Super stoked to have found that one. Awesome. Uh, kept looking through the boxes again found some daredevil stuff uh, Marvel Knights number one variant uh, this is a Quesada variant again $2 uh, this book can kind of fetch about six to eight bucks so found that pretty stoked to have found that and the cool thing about it is all of these comics I actually found them in really really good condition like I mean I'm talking like high grade stuff like not no no Harley spine, one well, maybe one spine take or something. Uh, so Daredevil 190, the uh, I guess if you want to call it the resurrection of Electra, found this one. Super stoked. I actually initially picked this up just for the cover itself. Um, you know, I'm a huge cover guy. Saw this cover, instantly gravitated towards it. I love the colors. I love the. <laughs> I swear, back in the 90s, I swear, like all my clothes was all this color. Like, it's a mixture of all these colors plus black. <laughs> I think I've got like high school pictures with like all these colors on, on all my clothes. I was super hip. Um, so then I've also kept digging, found uh, Daredevil 232, the first appearance of Nuke. Um, I was reading something about the uh, Jessica Jones show, so I'm not too sure if he's on that or not, but Found the first appearance of Nuke, uh, Daredevil 232, again for $2. And look at the condition of the stuff. Look at that spine. Look at these corners. At a used bookstore, nonetheless. Two bucks. Could not believe it. Doesn't really go for much. Again, maybe about six bucks, but super stoked to have it. And then I found 233, The Unfortunate Death of Nuke. <laughs> or, um, <coughs> you know maybe the the death of Duke, and uh yeah so found that one as well super stoked again two dollars couldn't be any happier uh i kept digging through all the long boxes like i said i found five of them i found this really beautiful beautiful wolverine book man um i don't think this really goes for anything but just for the cover alone oh my god this thing should be going for a lot more but check this out. Let's, I'll just show you the spine first. If I can show you the spine. Look at that. Gorgeous. Nothing. Nothing. And look at this book. This red. Not even like a white spot. I mean, this thing is just. Look at that whole ring. Ah. Look at that. Look at that badass. If this fucker was coming after you, you'd be shit scared. Like, so I don't give a fuck who you are. <laughs> look at that book man for two dollars are you kidding me are you kidding me two dollars 
for this piece of art this all red background without any white ticks smudges or anything Jesus freaking cramming this book is gorgeous man this book is just simply it's not like the new school stuff that we have now it's definitely one of those old school books but man if you don't appreciate this if you don't appreciate this cover get another hobby <laughs> get another hobby man this is a sick this is the wolverine that i know and this is a badass wolverine this is stuff cholula talks about and if cholula talks about wolverine you know this shit's this shit's awesome um what else did i find i found um spider-man 439 just a low printed book again you know for two bucks um I don't know what it sells for. People ask 10 to 12 bucks. <clears throat> but, you know, that's not with shipping. So, you know, a lot of times they'll ask from 12 to $15. But it's just a low printed book. Spider-Man uh, 439. Just one of those books that's just cool to find. Add it to your collection. And, uh, you know, it's actually a really beautiful cover. Um, very, very close to Campbell's work. It's not, but it's very close to it. So it's pretty sick. Again, for $2, can't go wrong. And then I just found this book. I don't know why I picked this book up. Um, I know there's something about this with Death and Wolverine and stuff like that. But uh, I just picked it up. I just thought it was a sick cover. And again, for $2, just ah, what the hell. Why not? Um, so, like I was saying uh, earlier, Spider Fan actually... Uh, Spider, sorry, not Spider Fan. Spidey Fan actually... Um, Told me about some books that were at um, that were at Book Off. So you know he's all like, "Hey, I hid these books for you." <laughs> so he grabbed a bunch of books and he hid them behind like a bunch of other books. So I have to thank Spidey Fan for it. Um, so I found Batman 15, uh, New 52. He hid that for me. Beautiful condition. I mean, really nice condition. Um, I haven't really taken a closer look to it. There might be maybe a one spine maybe one spine tick maybe two but just a really gorgeous book and so i can't thank spidey fan enough excellent work capullo come on you can't go wrong uh he hit 15 he also hit 17 for me really really stoked to have this one awesome 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 just love it um i actually found this one on my own uh new avengers number one just a blank variant for two bucks just picked it up you know, we have comic cons here in Hawaii every once in a while. There might be an artist, so I'll definitely probably get something done on this. Um, so yeah, I was thinking about, I was just thinking about like the new Avengers, and I was thinking of doing like the champions on this, kind of like saying like they're gonna be like the new Avengers. You get it? Get it? New Avengers. Um, he also hid some Adam Hughes stuff for me, which I was super stoked that he did. Uh, background number two, just a gorgeous. Adam Hughes cover. I actually own one of these, but I'll definitely pick it up for two bucks. And it's Adam Hughes cover, so it can't go wrong. And I have this huge thing with like superheroes in the ring. Like, I just have a thing for that. Like every time I see a cover of a superhero in, like in the rain, I just I just have to pick it up. It's just like my thing. I think there's a lot of people out there that um, are into red and black covers. Uh, there's some people that you know they they have different likes for different covers. My thing is superheroes in the rain so <laughs> i don't know it's just my thing I, I don't know what it is i just like it um found this background number five and so i was kind of flipping through this book a little bit and as soon as i flipped to the first page i instantly thought of my boy seeking near mint comics because i know he would love stuff like this so this is the opening page for background number five and bam if that's not a seeking near mint <laughs> If that is not a Seeking Near Mint picture, I don't know what is, man. That's for you, Seeking Near Mints. I know you like shit like this. <laughs> I know you like that, that's for sure. It's actually a really beautiful picture. If you take in the whole picture itself, it's actually really gorgeous. Um, but let's just focus on uh, what my boy Dave would like. I know Dave would like that one, that's for sure. Uh, background number six, another gorgeous Adam Hughes cover that uh, Spidey fan hit, hid for me. So, cannot thank him enough for hiding these uh, Adam Hughes books, man. Thank you so much. And another one that he hid for me was uh, Danger Girl number three. Um, 
This is, I guess it's kind of the third print, not third print variant, one of the um, variants and stuff. But yeah, man, super sick. You got Campbell, Adam Hughes, great cover. Um, just really stoked to have this. And they hid this for me, so thanks a lot, man. Super, super stoked, super stoked. Okay, then I bought some books from my boy, Marvin88. He gave me a really good price, man. He gave me some good price. Uh, he had this video and then, well, long story short, he had a video. I saw some books. I wanted the books. I asked him for the price and Marvin gave me a really great price. So, uh, Birds of Prey, 69. I bought this off of him. Again, superhero in, or super villain, superhero. Uh, any of the two in the rain. So right there, boom, had to pick it up. Superhero in the rain, just a gorgeous cover. Love this stuff. Um, I don't, <laughs> maybe I'm old, man, but I'm all like, you can't be running around the streets like that, girl. You're gonna get a cold. <laughs> that's, the, that's the first thing in my mind. This is how old I am. I see a girl in freaking a bikini trying to freaking save people's lives, and um, the first thing I think about is like, she, she's gonna get a cold. Um, he had this over there. Uh, this so this is Batman. Um, 497 Bane breaks uh, Batman's back the cool thing about this the super cool thing about this is that this is a newsstand variant and man I was I was blown away when I saw him with this I was all like I was like I had to pick it up so Batman 497 the newsstand variant just had to pick this up you see these all the time with the black cover right over here and stuff they sell for a dollar all day long but the newsstand variant now that goes for a little bit so that's the ones without the black cover and um all of this stuff you make sure you look for that but yeah super super happy to have gotten that one from marvin my boy um he also hooked me up with batman 457 this is a uh, first Tim Drake as Robin. So glad to have this one, add that to my collection. And uh, the last book was the one that I really, really, really was so happy um, to get. Uh, I was super stoked to get this. It's just a book I wanted to add to my collection. Um, I don't collect just the modern stuff. I love collecting the older school stuff. And I just found this and I just wanted to just really own this and have it in my collection. So the first Hawk and Dove, uh, showcase 75 bam got that off my boy all of the books in really nice condition um, again I got a great price from Marvin so I cannot thank him enough he shipped it packed it really awesome uh, I really owed this um, this haul basically to Marvin 88 and to uh, Spidey fan and uh, yeah man thank you so much that was my quick little haul even though it took about 18 minutes sorry about that um, and that's pretty much about it, man. Hey guys, check out Max Martinez. Sub up Max Martinez. This boy is a new guy in the community, but man, he's, he's been showing some stellar stuff. I'm gonna leave a link to Max Martinez. Um, that's like, uh, that's my new spec play <laughs> as far as YouTubers go. Uh, one of my first spec plays was Master X Splinter, and one of my second one was Seeking Near Mint Comics. So yeah, both of those guys are killing it in the community. So my third spec play, uh, Max Martinez, man. So hit this guy up, sub him up. He's showing some awesome stuff. All right, guys, so the rest of the community shoots and mahalos, like seriously, 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 huge mahalos. You guys have been fucking awesome. Shoots.